Hey, we're Kaser, and welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. Well, it's that time again. It is time to get the premium character in this act. If you're watching this for the very first time, you have no idea what's going on. Premium characters always pop up in updates, and in major events, there are four acts, and each act has a premium character. Well, kind of. There's technically something called a guild deal as well. That's premium, but it doesn't always mean that there's a character in that. So there it is right there, Dr. Lionel Bungie, DVM. Now I don't think that their voice, although I was really hoping they would be, and that it would be like a parody voice, but it is voiced by, or they're voiced by Michael York, who also voices Mason Fairbanks in the show, and Nigel, which I don't think we have either of those characters in the game yet either. So every four hours, 135 and 15 XP respectively. And because I closed it and I'm dumb, consumerism rating, 150 donuts. All right. Yep. Hello, Mrs. Glick. Ready to watch the party? Heads up! Kaboom! Welcome to my world. Lionel Bungie, veterinarian. I take all animal types, except bungees, ironically. Any bird with that many colors is hiding something. Lionel Bungie. Lionel Bungie DVM, not the DMV. That's across the street. Oh my goodness, this lines up perfectly. Cause what's that? The Springfield Department of Motor Vehicles. Amazing. I love when things line up. We think it will sound like animals, but it could be something else. I don't know what that circle thing is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be a clock that just doesn't work? Cause there's no hands. Or maybe it's supposed to be art, I'm not sure. I think I'll go with the sound of animals, but please don't have the sound of something flatlining, because that would be really, really sad. So let's go with the sound of animals, but no flatlining. <coughs> Shaving pet owners over toothbrushing. Oh, the poor doggy. Let's see if they have that voice. No, I didn't think they were, but you never know. So, uh, we're sorry for putting you in jail. Chalk it up to the police overreacting to dogs becoming your overlords. You mean the first time the dogs became your overlords? It was actually the third time, but who's counting, right? Thank you, Monorail. I'm counting, and you're on the fourth time now. Right, the fourth time is where cops learn the lesson. But you didn't learn the lesson. The dogs are your overlords again. Let me spell it out. We learned the lesson on the fourth time and implement the lesson on the fifth time. There is no way the dogs are becoming our overlords again. We'll see about that. Return to the office and count the dog apocalypses. Before I do. Animation time for the building. Well, lights will definitely turn on. I'm still wondering about that weird circle in the top there. Maybe that will have light pouring out. Probably not. Maybe. We'll go with the sound of lights. I really would like it if the sign would light up. It seems like it kind of would. The not the DMV that's across the street part, the bottom strip. It seems like it's going to. I don't know why. We'll go with that lighting up as well, even though it probably won't. And silhouettes. Oh, he's right there. What? What's up with the dog on the right? Oh, sorry, the left. It's so tall. Why is it so tall? I mean, I know there's some dogs out there that are very, very tall. But still... That's a pretty tall dog. We've also got a bird. It's not a bungee though, remember that. And we got that dog from the side there, on the very far corner. I recognize them in another building animation in this update. Silhouette as well. Which one I don't remember. There have been a handful of buildings, but that's what it looks like. Nothing with a sign and nothing with that circle at the top there. 
Excuse me, this is my veterinary practice. What are you doing here? It was empty, so I moved in. That's called squatting. Squatting. Such an ugly word. I prefer leeching. Don't worry, I need to be back, so I've continued to see your patients in your absence. You what? I know I don't have any training, but your patients don't know that. I'm with him. What? Out. Now. You can't just kick me out to the curb. I have rights. There are leech laws in this town. You're squatting on private property and you're impersonating a medical professional. Excuse me. I'm here for Mr. Squiggles' appointment. Ah, let me have a look at Mr. Squiggles. Get out! You scared Mr. Squiggles, and now he's gone back inside his shell. I thought he was a dog. He's a dog who thinks he's a turtle. I'm going to say it again. What is happening? See a patient. That makes sense. Assist with the patient. That still makes no sense. Get out. Actually, never mind. You're animated, so stick around, Kirk. Let Dr. Lionel Budgie really show you how to do this job. Oh, so cute. What? What? Check in with the ears. Check in the back. Check in the back. I don't really know a lot about that stuff, but I do know they always check back there. Probably a way to see if they're healthy or something, obviously. Still want to do this job, Kirk? Lionel, you're out of sugar. I can't have coffee without sugar. Why are you still here? Because you've got back-to-back -back appointments all afternoon, and I'm going to need coffee to get through my half of those. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll actually be a good assistant. I'm told you're the man to see in town for muscle. Who wants to know? Duh, me. The one standing in front of you. Hello? What is it you need, my smart mouth friend? Rival family encroaching on your turf? Nosy cops need disappearing? Lose your father squatting in veterinary office and hiding behind legal loopholes. Ah, me and the boy specialize in that. You specialize in everything. Here we are. The squatter is inside. All right, boys. You know what to do. Even if you don't know what to do, do something. You got it, boss. We'll just wait for all these pets to finish escaping first. Huh? What? No! Get Mr. Squiggles! So this is the second animation. Wrangle escaped pets. I'm probably going to have to hide everything. Because they're on this street here where there's like the monorail track. And then, you know, you can't really see anything. Oh, no, you actually go into the building. All that work of waiting for nothing. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow, what the f- Okay, get it in it! Get him! He did it! Unbelievably. I'm going to make a safe bet here that whoever animated this had a lot of fun doing it. And kudos to them. Because this is a fantastic animation. Dog trying to escape. Don't worry, it's not, it's neck's not getting crushed. Uh, getting the birds, scooping them up like something out of Looney Tunes. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it was going to be this in depth. Wait, the birds in there. You didn't mention birds. I do not like birds. Why birds? It all started with that movie. Which movie? Was it the birds movie from the 50s, 60s? I think that was Alfred Hitchcock. Is it Hitchcock's the birds? No, the Angry Birds movie. The red one was so angry. Okay, well, your boys can go in and deal with the squatter. Leaving the boss behind would be a tactic of mission that he is scared of birds, and we don't want to end up in the river. 
They know me so well. So you want us to go in and beat up Milhouse's dad? You don't have to beat him up. Just remove him. It's all part of the package we offer. No a la carte pricing. In or out, I'm not heat in the outdoors. Who the heck are you? I'm running out the other seven exam rooms. Whoa, not groundskeeper Willie. He's like the one guy that scares us. We are out of here. Isn't anybody in this town man enough to remove squatters? Did someone order a hero? I grow hobbed an enchilada plates. Wait, is that a weasel? It's a ferret. Even worse, everybody run for your lives. So it looks like that's how it's going to end up. He's going to have roommates forever. Oh, it keeps going. Grandskeeper Willie really tend the gardens out front. All right, well, that means at least Willie is definitely not leaving. So we're going to wrap this all up and see maybe if they stay or not. We'll find out. Who's ever want to fear it? The killers. I think they're cute. I don't think I know you anymore. Dad, where did you get the fear to scare you? It's one of your major fears. Snakes, spiders, heights, tight spaces, and ferrets. And there we go. That is the full walkthrough for Dr. Lionel Bungie. Gotta say, I actually did enjoy the quest line more than I thought I was going to. I loved the animations a lot, especially that second one with all the animals trying to escape. Mwah! Absolutely brilliant. Wish they were voice. Knew they weren't going to be voiced. Was hoping I'd be surprised with that. But overall, I really do enjoy the character. Let me know down below though, what do you think of Dr. Lionel Bungie? Like, comment, and subscribe for more Tapped Out videos. Now I'll see you with my premium characters. Move forward. Instead, Simpsons Tapped Out. So thank you for so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.